Hey everyone, so for today's video I wanted to share with you um, the salon centric mini haul I did today as well as I got all of my Young Nails Manicure Gel Polish swatched and then I have a couple of empties that we will review. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so at Salon Centric today, I always hit their clearance just to see what they have and then I use that as a way to test out different things. So today I picked up this. It is Essie's uh, Polish and Gel Remover. And as you can see right there, it was on clearance for $2.42. So I'm going to give that a try. And a lot of these products that I'm not sure about, I try them out um, on my pedicures because as you all know, pedicures aren't quite as finicky as, say, your pol your nail polish. It's going to stay on a little bit better. So they also had these um, Essie top coats for $1.29. And again, I will use those on my pedicures to give them a try. Then they also had these instant dry oils which I actually picked up the last time I was there and I've been using these on pedicures and it's really nice because um, the oil is it acts as a cuticle oil too so not only is it a drying oil it acts as a cuticle oil and it's just one step for me instead of two so I actually really kind of uh, have been enjoying using these ones so I was excited to see they had a couple more and as you can see for a dollar twenty nine that's a really good price um, and then they also had uh, this base coat, sensitive hypoallergenic base coat. So I picked that up to try. Then they had a, very excited about this, a caption polish. And this one is called Get to the Point. And as you can see, it's a little bit metallic y, so I definitely wanted to grab this one because it's at about half off. So that is a smoking deal. And then I got a nail glue to try. I have not actually heard of this company before, so I wanted to pick this one up just to give it a try and see how it does. Okay, so that was it for Salon Centric. Now let's go over the uh, Mani Q gel polish swatches that I have done. So this is from not the last haul that you watched, but the one before that. I finally got the swatches together. So this is the Aquamarine 101, and as you can see, it's a really pretty aqua blue, so I really like that one. Then we also got Coral Neon 101, and this one I, I love. I don't know why more people haven't used this, but I thought that one was really pretty. And we also got Silver Spring, and as you can see, it's more of just a, a top coat, just a little sparkly. I don't have it on my, I have it on my toes. I don't have it on my nails, but it's really pretty. Okay, then this one was Modern Nude. And it's just a really pretty nude. I really liked this one. Then we have Lilac 101. And I have worn this on my nails already. And I got a lot of compliments on it. And then we have French Mink. And it's just a really light, almost like milk chocolate brown color. And then Pink Lemonade 101. And that's what I have on my nails right now. And it has also gotten a lot of compliments. Then we have Champagne 101. And I really love this color. This might be going on next. I haven't decided yet. But I just, I love the metallicies. And then this is Citrus 101 Metallic. And it's just a metallic-y, orangey color. But it's really pretty really great for summer and it would be good for fall as well okay so the last haul that I did here are the swatches indigo 101 and it is like a it almost looks like a grayish purpley color to me but it's super pretty I really like this one 
and then we have aloe 101 and this one I actually when I purchased it I thought nah but after I got it painted on I'm like I really kind of like that so I might be trying this one out in the near future and then I got yellow 101 and I was really excited about this one because it is a super super nice pale yellow and I know yellow is kind of popular right now on the nails, so I was really excited to get that one. I really liked it. So we've got blue 107, and it's just a really bright blue. Very, very nice. This one I actually, this is three coats. Um, I have a little bit of a problem with this one. I don't know if I didn't mix it well enough or what, so we will see how it does. All right, and then I got Gold 101, and I was actually really excited about this one, but now seeing it in person, it's kind of like a um, mustard yellowy gold, so I'm not so sure about it. I'm going to have to see if that one grows on me. And then we've got Blue 101, and it is like a dark, and as you can see right here where I got sloppy, it's almost got like a green to it, but it's super, super dark. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And then we've got Pink 103, which I was a little surprised by the Pink 103 because it looks more of like a, it's got like a lot of brown or something in it. I don't know. I was just kind of surprised that that would be considered a pink. Um, I think it's a pretty color. I just don't really know that it's pink. So anyway, and then we got Red Orange 101, and that's what that looked like very similar to what I have on actually so those are those and then this is the look don't touch this is the uh, what is it called go I think it's called go time it's the the one step gel polish and this is I actually did put two coats on here and then um, it actually is very nice I just I drug it a little bit too dry over here so it kind of got a little icky but I was very impressed with this and one coat and it's it was pretty good at one coat I just went ahead and put another probably it's just habit you know you're like you gotta two coat everything but you really kind of don't it was a little bit less opaque up in here which is the one coat and so that's why I did the two but super super impressed with these I will probably be trying to pick up more of these because that's gonna save a lot of steps without having to do the base or the top even if you had to do two coats of the color so very excited about the new gel polishes and um, I'm hoping there'll be some kind of special on them at the show in Vegas where I can pick up more but if not I'll just get them a little at a time as I can but I was very very impressed with that okay now let's get on to the review so let's start with C&D Vinyl X weekly top coat I got this little sample size bottle in with some um, Vinyl X polishes that I picked up they were just little sample size ones as well and I have been using this on the pedicures and I am not a fan and maybe this one is just old I don't know but it was it's thick and it's goopy and it's lumpy and it does not go on for me very well at all so I was not a super huge fan of this one I do have a full-size bottle on stock so I will give it another go and see but at this point in time I'm not a huge fan of this okay so the next thing I'm currently out of is my caption top coat and I love this top coat I will say I think with the um, with the companies going with the three free I think it's affecting the polishes a little bit as far as they seem to be getting thicker quicker if that makes sense so I don't know that these have anything to do with that but it just seems like the ones that um, 
that like have the three free or the seven free or the nine free or what however many free it is they seem to get thicker quicker than the ones that have all of the bad stuff in there um, but for the most part I love this caption top coat this is my go-to top coat if you are getting regular polish on your nails you're getting caption base and top regardless of what color you pick to put in between um, and I've had a lot of success with that so I do need to get um, another one of those and then I also went through this is the old bottle style but I also went through uh, Mani Q top coat and um, same with my gels if you are getting gel polish you are getting Mani Q base and Mani Q top on regardless of what your color is in between however most of my gel polishes are Young Nails polish because I haven't found another gel polish that I completely love although the Lee Chat um, I've been getting the Lee Chat mood changing ones and I'm really really liking those those are really nice but I haven't tried their their non mood changing ones yet so I don't know if that gel formula would be any different um, but I plan on getting at least one of those to try because that one is really nice too but I haven't found uh, the company or the store where I buy my Lichat um, color change from doesn't carry the Lichat topper base I don't know why but so I haven't been able to try their topper base but this is my absolute hands down favorite Young Nails Manicure top and I went through a bottle of that, but I obviously had backup because as soon as I go through one top, then I order another one so that they're always in stock because it's very important to have. Unless I start getting their go time polish where it's all incorporated and then I won't have to worry about it. But anyway, so those are my, my mini haul, my swatches, and my little review on the few things that I was out of. Please leave any questions, comments, tell me what you like, what you dislike, um, if you're, what gel polishes you use, um, did you guys have any luck with the Vinyl Lux? Is it just me? Did I just get a bad bottle? Uh, let me know your thoughts and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.